Welcome back to Let's Play Dust. I'm Nye, and uh, I'm... Ah, she's not gonna let me leave. I was just gonna ignore that necromancer, because uh, I really don't want to deal with him, but um, I'm pretty much not gonna make it to the exit uh, before he catches up to me and makes my life a living hell. So we're gonna spend another while fighting this guy. Which is unfortunate, because I don't like fighting this guy. He takes a very long time, and I don't really get a lot out of it. Uh, I don't really get a lot out of it. It's a bad relationship. The other problem is, the only way I can harm him leaves me very much open to attacks. Uh, you know, not a big fan of this. <clears throat> That's fine. We'll keep it up and try not to get blown up. Might start calling... Oh, come on, let me... Let me move, let me move. Thank you. Okay, got that. I don't think there was a soul in there that looked like just the uh, green bubbly stuff, but, um... Oh, come on. No, I'm just gonna stand on this and let it keep me healed while I get burned. Man. Trying to interrupt those guys blowing up is, uh, not fun. Okay, so I know we're going to have some more dolls, so we're going to keep on moving to the left, because I think there is another mansion to the left, and then the final mansion uh, should be uh, back at Korra and moving on to the right. Still looking to get ourselves an insect eyeball, which, as I said, I'm pretty sure uh, falls off the uh, those spider things we first saw down in the Ceremon Cavern. So I also want that key. Here's some treasure for me. And I do uh, I do see the uh, mannequin kind of sitting there next to the treasure chest, so let's end that right now. Looks like another blueprint for a flesh sheath. Nope, blueprint for a wrong vest, which I believe uh, is still not as good as... Yeah, not as good as the spectral vest, so we're going to ignore that. Now the question is, how do we get there? A very good question indeed, because I do not see any way for us to get in that direction. Hmm. Let me get rid of these guys so I can get my mini-map up again. Because I believe we can go to the left. It's a question of how do we get there. Uh, that actually might have something to do with the Rose uh, Grave. I can't go left here. Okay. Um, well, let's make our way uh, back down, I suppose. Oh, come on. I hate this jump. There we go. Actually, I said. The jumps off the uh, vines are very, um, they're weird. No... trying to do, because I can't remember if this is what I have to do or not. Because I can't see of any way to get around that, so I'm going to have to assume that I'm not doing this right. Nope, because that just angles me down. Okay, so I'm going to assume that has something to do with the rose uh, grave that... Uh, we got a hint for some time ago, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, we're going to see about... I'm going to try one more thing. So what I didn't try was an aerial dodge. Because that gets you a little bit more lateral movement than the dust storm does. Nope, still going, uh... Still dropping when I do that. So, that's not it. Okay, but we're going to go... Uh, deal with that companion down the line. I don't think I have enough keys for it. I do have enough keys for it. So we may go do that while I'm thinking about it. But first, of course, guys to fight, things to do. Hits to take that I shouldn't be taking. What I might consider doing is, uh, well, that's right, I 
I wanted to just flat out buy the Wicked, but I can't because I don't have those eyeballs. Man, that's frustrating because I actually have the money to do that. Um, I actually have quite a lot of money right now. Uh, this is actually uh, the type of money that I'm going to expect to have at end game, actually. Uh, because money is actually kind of easy to come by then, and it's good because there's some really uh, powerful items that you need to uh, spend that money on. Go away. Get ourselves some junk. And continue making our way to the right. So, gonna have another Necromancer here in just a second. Whoa, do not want, do not want, do not want, do not want. Yep, not, not good. one of those exploding guys without me having to really lift too much of a finger. This Necromancer is almost dead, thankfully. Which means I get to keep on moving. Got a Ring of Sight blueprint, but uh, we've had Rings of Sight for a while now, so that's actually not really all that helpful. Give us a level up, put some points into attack. Raised our attack rather significantly, actually. Went from 100 to 150, so a 50 point bonus is nothing to sneer at. Apparently. Uh, crap. Apparently, Fidget is just not gonna do her thing when I need her to. Which is kind of problematic. But you know what? Oh, darn. Okay, that was. Ow. One thing I don't like about having uh, Fidget being tied to the same button and the same meter as my uh, dodge is. I kind of want to upgrade defense on my next level up, but, you know, there's also uh, something to be said for upgrading uh, Fidget too right now, considering I'm using her so much in these areas. I use her a lot in general, honestly. Uh, she's kind of my go-to uh, attack. Now we're we're kind of cutting through these things rather nicely, which is good. I like moving quick through these areas. Still keeping an eye out for that grave. Explode. And do this again. Oh man, I'm taking a lot of hits here. I really dislike these things. Okay, got some hot dogs. That's good. Staff these guys a little bit more. Move around a little bit. That way I'm not taking those hits. Okay. Keep going. I'm trying to remember, I think there is a way to get Fidget to have a little bit more oomph. Uh, you know, to get that spirit bar up a little bit, but I can't remember. We're just gonna ignore those guys, we're gonna keep on moving to the right. Because that's just wasting time. These guys I'll kill just because I think they're in the way of me making a speedy exit. That's- oh, come on, that's not good. So that's the exit right there. Kill these guys first. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay. Man, it's taking me eight minutes just to get back here. I guess they're not gonna let me just walk out of here alive. One of us has to die, guys. You guys are me. And the problem is, you guys are already dead. You're already a step ahead of me. Hey, who's... is there someone... Oh, there's still a guy over there at the end of my mission. Okay, we are almost out of here, and this guy has respawned. I'm gonna see if I can just bypass him and move on. Which seems to be exactly how that's gonna work. There is, in this area, another treasure. Uh, I kinda wanna go looking for it. Something tells me it is over here to my left. Well, that wasn't good. And that time, I'm actually officially dead. 
Well, damn. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep on moving to get out of this meadow. Uh, I will see you guys next time.